Hi everyone, I'm going to show you a new tool that you can use that lets you deploy an MCP server on a Databricks app, uh, which will allow you to share custom prompts for cursor or Claude code. In Claude code, there's slash commands um, with anyone in your workspace. Um, and we can also host some MCP tools on this Databricks app as well. So this is pretty cool. Um, so what we're going to do is build our own version of this, so I'll walk you through this journey end to end um, with our own prompt for uh, building a jobs interactive um, experience that you can use in Cloud Code. Um, so what you're going to do is come over to this repo, which is Databricks-Solutions slash custom MCP Databricks app, and that's this repo here. Um, just very high level, basically what's going to happen is there are two things. One is a local proxy, which will authenticate with the Databricks app, and then it will proxy all the MCP requests off to the Databricks app on behalf of us, so everything is, is super secure. So to get started, we're gonna click Use This Template, and I'm going to choose a location for this, and I'm gonna call this Nikhil's MCP server. So I'm gonna create that. And then what I'm gonna do once this is done is clone this. So we'll click this button here, we'll copy the URL, and then we'll go into an iTerm and get cloned. Okay, so that's it for that. And then I'm gonna open that folder in VS Code. So I'm just gonna go open folder, bring us to that new MCP server directory, and get started here. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is just run Claude and I'm just doing this dangerously skip permissions to make this video a bit faster. You don't have to do that. So once you're in Claude, all you have to do is do setup-mcp, and it will walk you through the rest. So the first thing it's gonna do is just check the environment that we're in. Are we continuing from an existing setup or not? And so um, what I'm gonna do in the meantime while it's doing that is get my workspace URL handy and I have a personal access token ready to go because we're gonna need that in a second. Cool, and I'll go check out what Claude is doing. It's just checking if the MCP server is there, that's fine. <coughs> okay, so then it's a fresh setup, so what we're gonna do is um, just walk through this journey. Um, so it's gonna ask me, do I wanna set up with a personal access token? I'm gonna select yes. I'm gonna paste my Databricks workspace URL here, yep. And then I'm going to paste this access token over here, okay? Okay, and now it's gonna ask me for an app for my deployment. Now, you can type a new app name in here, but um, that can take two to three minutes to deploy. So what I did was I just made um, an app before this if you didn't do this, that's okay. It will go deploy a brand new app for you. Um, but I'm gonna paste that in here. So I'm gonna kill MCP, and sure, that's the source code for the deployment. And I'm gonna also call this Nikhil MCP for the server name. So that's the prefix that will happen on all of these MCP tools and prompts. And then it's gonna go just set up a bunch of um, dependencies and so on, and then you just press enter to close this terminal. Okay, so now, we will go back here and we just tell Claude that we're done. And then it will continue. And so the first thing it's gonna do is deploy the base MCP server to the app just to make sure everything is working properly. You have a personal access token that's working and so on. And we should have the first version of the app in a second. So I'll just let Claude do its thing. And you can actually go back over here and just see the status of the app as it deploys. So it's just uploading some files now, and then this will start to update. Now the app is downloading, and it should install in a couple seconds. And then we'll have the verse, first version of our app. OK, cool. So now that the app is deployed, you can see all the checks are done. I can click this link, and you will see a UI that will show us a bunch of stuff about this MCP server. Um, so this is the command to go and add this. And yes, it's a pretty large thing, but basically what's happening is it has to set up the local proxy with a host 
and the URL to the Databricks app. We'll explain that in a little bit. But we can see something's working. Okay, amazing. Let's go back over here. And basically what's gonna happen is this will check that the deployment worked and that we can actually talk to it via MCP locally. And again, I'm not writing any code right now, right? Like it is doing this for us completely automatically. Okay, so the next thing it's gonna do is add that um, MCP server to the cloud CLI and that will just do that command I just showed you, that large command. It will just do that for you automatically. Now, your token isn't gonna be baked in here, just so you know. What happens with the proxy is it will open a window to log you in and use a temporary OAuth token. So like these tokens are not checked in on disk anywhere, except for in this this file, there's a there's a path token just to set up the actual um, Databricks app. Okay, so it's checking the connection now with that new MCP um, thing that we just added, and we added it in the, the user scope here. Okay, um, so the setup is complete. Um, it's actually just not giving me, showing me the prompts here, but I'm gonna open um, a new terminal here with a, with a fresh cloud. And then I'm just gonna show you that we can see this um, Nikhil MCP ping Google. So if I do this, you'll see this is actually talking to the service. That, this is my command right here. Okay, so that's working. Um, so, so it can discover those prompts that are coming from there. And now I'm gonna build a new prompt, okay? So I want to add a new prompt that is for jobs in prompts. The um, new job will first check the current user is logged in with Databricks current user me. And then if not, we'll use Databricks auth login to log them in. Ask the user first. Once they are done with that, use the Databricks CLI with Databricks jobs. You can right now use dash dash help to see what's available. To read the jobs um, that are in the account, they're in the workspace, sorry, um, and have an interactive um, workflow for asking questions about those jobs. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. It's gonna go build that prompt for me. That's what Claude will do. Okay, so it's just gonna ex start exploring things. It's gonna explore the CLI. And then what's gonna happen is there's actually a prompts folder here. And this is where all these prompts live and that's where they get exposed. So there's a check system. These are just three, three prompts that I baked in. Um, there's a list files, and then there's a ping Google, okay? And so it's gonna go and add a prompt to this folder that I can share now with anyone who has access to this who just adds that one line to add that MCP server. Okay, so it made this manage jobs. That's awesome. And actually, in this case, I don't want it to do this, so I'm gonna just tell it not to do that. Um, don't use source.m.local for this. Just directly use Databricks. And the reason I'm doing that is because this is local to this folder, um, and I want any user who runs this from somewhere else to just have it here, okay? Now, we may tweak this a little bit in practice. Maybe there's a profile, so on and so forth, but the idea is there's a bunch of commands that are baked in here. You can go curate this, but I'm just gonna let it deploy the updated prompt now, and then we're gonna go ahead and test it out. And so it's deploying a new version of the app, so let's go check out what this console here is saying for us. Cool, and we'll just wait for this to finish. All right, let's just check that URL here. 
And look at this. We have a man new manage jobs command. Amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and open a new Claude and just show you that this is working now. And I'm just going to do it like this. And we can just pause this guy for a second. And then I'm going to open another Claude. And then we are going to do Nikhil-MCP. And then we should be able to see our new manage jobs prompt. So that's this guy here. And it was reading from that server. It offed me locally and proxied the request off to the Databricks app. So let's check out that new manage jobs workflow. So it's gonna now run that prompt and it's again shared with everybody else, which is pretty nice. Now it's sourcing it here because I have that in memory for this repo, but if this is run outside, it's not gonna do that. Okay, so it's just going and checking all the jobs now. And it says I have 20 jobs in my workspace and then it's gonna give me an interactive menu. All right, let's check this out. So if I scroll up, it's gonna show me all the jobs and who did what. Now this is a table um, and I want to ask it some things like, you know, th so this formatting is a little funky. I might go tweak that prompt later, but it's okay. So I'm going to ask, um, what's the most recent job run uh, that is owned by me? And when was it last executed? Aha, it's finding my user simulation. Again, this probably is something I could go tweak in this prompt to make sure that doesn't happen. Um, it was created on January 1st, that's correct. And it, let's see what it's gonna give me for the last execution time. Awesome, okay, so it's giving me a bunch of information. So now I have this interactive thing that I can talk to my jobs, that's pretty cool. You can build whatever you want that's specific to your workspace, that's the exciting part. Now, so I've shown you this sort of end-to-end -end workflow. I just wanna explain one thing, if you have this is for the developer, if you are the one hosting that app. If you want a user to just use your MCP server, they just have to do this one-liner. Okay, so they don't have to clone this repo or anything like that. They copy this, they paste it in, and they're done. This will deal with the authentication. It will open, new, open a new window in Databricks. It'll let them log in, and then things will just propagate. So that's it. Um, I hope this is useful, and happy building.